Greg, Red K, Red K Mods, and welcome to episode 13 of season 4 of my Power PC series. In today's episode, we are once, once, once again revisiting my air cooled 2.7. And this time we're going to do it properly. Um, and this is uh, in preparation for the, I think it's fourth annual Power PC Challenge, which is coming up this week, in fact. Um, by the time I post it, We'll probably be going live with that. So that's the Mac Yak 4th Annual, I think it's 4th, uh, Power PC Challenge. We'll, I'll have all the details you need to know about in the description below. But we are finally going to make this thing air-cooled and work properly. And we know that the top CPU here is bad. We also know that one of these two CPUs right here tested good in the last system I was testing. Um, I just don't know which one. That's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna take the top CPU out of this and just click one of these in and see what happens. Um, it will either A, turn on, or B, not turn on, because one of them I'm pretty sure is fried. But we're going to actually make this system proper this time. And we have uh, 2.75 terabytes worth of storage right here. Um, I know that's a lot of overkill, but um, I forgot the original system still had a 750 gig drive in it, and I already had a, two, a terabyte drive that I set up. Um, so if anything, we're going to clone all the data from this drive to that one. I think that's the two, but anyway. Um, we also have 8 gigs of DDR, and um, this right here. This is a... Um, Oh yeah, I forgot this was slightly damaged. Eee. There, it's fixed. This <laughs> is an X800 XT. The uh, second most powerful um, AGP Pro graphics card ever made for a Mac, uh, right behind the X850 XT, which was only available for a very, very short time. I've never seen an OEM version of it. Um, and this one I bought, I don't remember how I got it, but when it came to me, this capacitor here was uh, snapped off and I had to hand solder one on and I totally forgot about that until now because it was on there crooked. I don't know if the card still works. <laughs> ah, oh boy but um, it, it looks like it's still got a connection on it, so we might be all right. So we're gonna be putting the second most powerful AGP Pro card ever made for Mac into this system. Eight gigs of DDR, uh, 2.75 terabytes worth of storage, and put the proper heat sinks in this once we figure out which CPU is the working CPU. And um, then we'll um, run Sorbet Leopard on it and see what happens. So let's get to it. It's alive! So before I even start filming, I uh, noticed something. Last time I cleaned these CPUs, I did a horrible job at it, and they are actually corroding themselves again, which means I didn't neutralize all the decks cool those on them. They may not work at all now. Um, you can see a lot of corrosion. Um, this is the best looking one though. This is probably the one that worked. I should probably clean it first, but, uh, maybe we should just roll the dice and see what happens. Probably a bad idea, but let's just clip it in there and find out. Okay. We got the top CPU in the one that I think works. If this passes the test, uh, we'll know it's, it's the right one. I need to plug it in and see if it bongs. If it bongs, that's the first sign that we might have the right CPU in it. So, um, all right, so it's time for the bong test. Let's see what happens. And what the heck, let's try to start it with the ABC display. That's probably the bad CPU. Okay. A 
Let's try it again. Ow. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, I think everything's hooked up. Long test number two. Power. It didn't bong. It's also not making that weird humming noise. Uh, huh. This might be a very short video. Hey! That's a good sign, I think. Hey! It didn't bong! But it's, it's booting. So that's a start. So I think I figured out which one was the right CPU. I'm going to see if it calibrates. If it calibrates, we'll tear down the whole thing. I'll actually clean the CPU properly this time. And we'll slap it together and it should work. Maybe. I hope. We'll see. Calibration has started. You guys are so lucky you don't have to be in this room. Um, and I still have to calibrate it again after we get everything properly working if this passes calibration. <laughs> um, it's really loud in here. But um, it's calibrating. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the uh, CPUs won't blow up. Hey! CPU zero passed! That's a good sign and the mouse isn't working. But it's just, it's going up the screen. Um, I'll be back. So I don't know what was going on with the mouse there. I could never get it to turn back on, so I just shut it off. I plugged a hard drive in it that I know has an OS on it. Um, let's just turn it on and see what happens. And then we'll take it from there. Um, is it going to do something? It's awfully quiet. There's no video. What the? Huh. Um, okay, it's not a good sign. Let's try starting with the ADC this time. Actually, that sounded better this time. That sounds a lot more promising. Okay, it's uh, even more promising. Wow, that's loud. Okay, so that might have been a fluke. Just gotta wait for open firmware to finally do something. Any day now. Uh-oh. It froze again. That's not a good sign. Huh. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that the corrosion on that CPU is messing it up. Um, we're going to clean it and hopefully it will fix itself. Uh, we got to take the other CPU apart anyway because we need to put the proper heat sink on it. So um, hopefully this fixes everything. <laughs> oh boy. I've already, I think, figured it out. It overheated because the Heat sink screws aren't tightened down, which translates into this is the one I used in the Ken video. And I just temporarily put the screws in it so I could transport it. Hopefully that's the only problem. We're going to clean it up and find out. 
Oh yeah, this was definitely the one I'm pretty sure that we were using. Um, it doesn't have Arctic Silver on it, which is what I would have been using on the other one. Uh, and um, it's a miracle it was actually working, because look at the, all that corrosion that's back on it. Uh, that wasn't there. Um, so this is going straight into the bath right now. So hopefully we actually have it salvaged. I finally got all the blue off of it. And the bowl is... I missed a lot last time, apparently. Uh, it's It's got this very interesting blue tint to it now. Uh, but this actually looks pretty clean. I don't see much on it. Uh, the socket could still use a little work, but without an ultrasonic cleaner, I can't do a whole lot. So we're just going to let it dry out a little bit and put it back together and see what happens. I let the CPU dry out and look, it recorroded already. There was no way I missed that. Uh, I'm running out of alcohol. And um, I might have to actually vinegar this. And I hate vinegar. Oh boy. It might just work. It's, I think, mostly clean. As you can tell, it's starting to really eat away on things. <laughs> this corrosion is just terrible. But I think the card's fine. So I don't see anything left. So hopefully we'll be fine. Okay, so here's the final product. Both working CPUs are back on their heat sinks properly and everything's cleaned up, pasted, and everything's good. I'm going to go for broke and just reassemble the entire system, put every upgrade into it, and set it up, get it ready, and then we'll try to calibrate it. And if it calibrates, we have a success, so we will find out in a bit. All right, the only thing I got to do is put the front fan back in and put the side panel on and hook up the uh, old liquid cooler so it can calibrate. But as we can see, we have the heat sinks installed. We have the video card installed, both hard drives, and all 8 gigs of RAM there. So we're ready to try out, uh, more or less. I'm going to hook this thing up to the tripod, and we'll go see what happens. So hopefully this is the last CPU calibration I ever have to deal with with this system. Hopefully it just works. Now remember, 2.7 G5s just randomly die. And there's a good chance, with my luck, that the uh, CPU that we just finished cleaning, and took me over an hour to clean, is going to be dead. I hope not. But um, I don't know how long this system will last. I'm hoping forever. Probably won't. But um, let's try to calibrate it and see if we finally got it fixed. So let's start it. Hold in the C key. time it's even making me feel better I hope this works it's booting right into the operating system which I didn't want it to do it's really quiet like it's already calibrated I know it's not calibrated but um, let's let it boot and uh, then we'll actually calibrate it but uh, so far, this is a good sign. Wow, that's quiet. It shouldn't be quiet because I swapped positions on the thing. It looks like it's going into, yeah, it's going into uh, Sorbet Leopard, which I haven't even set up yet. 2.7 G5, it says 1 2.7. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, sometimes you just have to restart it again and it fixes it. Let's shut it down. So 
So CPU one, well, CPU zero is in the top. That's the CPU you need to make sure it boots, as far as I know. So the other one might be dead. That would be highly inconvenient. Well, this time it's reading the optical drive, which is a better sign. We'll just let it boot again and see what happens. Still says 2.7. Just one 2.7. Ah! Ooh! All right, let's uh, do a, a pram reset. It's, um, I forget. Control, alt, control. I'm gonna have to look it up because I can't remember it. It's control, alt, control, something, something, PR. Shoot. This is really getting on my last nerve. Command option PR. Right. I don't know why I can't remember that. Command option. Command option. How am I going to start this and do that at the same time? Command option PR. There it goes. I hope that fixes it. So I really don't feel like taking the whole thing apart again. I have a feeling we're going to have to take it apart again. I swapped the CPU so I knew it would force me to calibrate it. Now I'm wondering um, if the other one even still works. At least it's running now. It didn't even used to do that. Well, I mean, it did still. Um, let's see what happens. <sighs> or have to take it back apart again. Yay! I'm not putting it fully back together until it works. This better work. I swapped the CPUs around and um, it should sound like a wind tunnel right now. Uh, I'm starting to get a little concerned because then that would mean the logic board's messed up. Or Sorbet Leopard doesn't see dual CPUs properly, which I don't know about because I've never used it before. I think it froze. Hmm. So the, the replacement CPU doesn't work, even though it passed. This whole subject Uh, trying not to break something right now, but I'm about to. Uh, I just want it to work. It's taken two years. Yeah, it's frozen. That means the top CPU's got a short in it somewhere. And I'm out of 2.7s that I know work.
Well, I have managed to get it to boot back into ASD. The CPU may still work. It may still be wet for all I know. I thought it was pretty dried out. But if it's running right now, that means it's, it's working. Maybe. Uh-oh. Never mind. Oh, there it goes. See here. CPU. It's not saying how many there are. It just says one. Weird. Well, let's try a calibration again. It might fix it. And it may not. We'll see. So I just realized something from before. Because this just passed. It says CPU 0 passed. Where's CPU 1? There's something going on with the logic board now. Yippee! I'm about to lose my mind. So it's still refusing to boot. And um, I'm starting to think there's a bent pin or something in the socket on the logic board. Um, I do have two more 2.7 somewhere. The thing is, I think they're both a little beyond repair. Um, I'm going to go see if I can find them and see just how bad they are. Okay, so desperate times call for desperate measures. In this box right here is something I bought two years ago. The first time I tried to fix this system. And they are still attached to the cooler. I was thinking, oh, it can't be that bad when I bought it off of Facebook. I'm kind of afraid to actually touch it. I was wrong. It's bad. It looks like that on ow, both sides. That one actually doesn't look quite as bad. That one might actually not be too bad to try. But before we try to save these, because originally I was, I, I'd given up and I was just going to send them to Jay Fry to see if he could fix them. Before we try to save these, I'm going to try to save the other one one more time with some vinegar and I really hate vinegar like really 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 hate vinegar so um yeah I'm, I'm not looking forward to this when I poured all the vinegar on it it started sizzling for a second there so I guess it's now neutralized and now I have to get all the vinegar off of it uh, I'm going to scrub it down really good it smells really bad in here. There's no more blue whatsoever left on this card. I should have used vinegar last time I cleaned these CPUs. I may have already had the system working. Um, something tells me this card's still not going to work. But now, who knows, the two on the uh, cooler down there may actually have one that works uh, after you vinegar it. It's amazing how quickly it dissolves all the crystals. Okay, so I've taken the whole CPU apart, the top one, vinegared it, tried to get all the vinegar off of it, I hope I did, pretty sure that's conductive, that would be bad. Cleaned it, put it back in the heat sink. This is a trouble one. I've already checked the socket on this one. Some pins didn't seem quite right, so I ran a brush across it. It could be just because this one's here, this one doesn't like to work. And when this one's down here, it just disables it. I don't know. We're gonna turn it on. Pray it works. Let's go. It bombed. At this point, the fan should have ramped up because it's detected two CPUs. It hasn't detected two CPUs from what I can tell. And I think it already froze. Ooh. 
these don't want to use these but what other choice do I have 